Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. I'm your host, J.K. M.A.Z., Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to Episode 3 of the Porn Reboot Podcast. Today, I want to address something that a majority of my clients deal with, and I was going to wait a few weeks to address this, but I have a feeling that many men listening to this might be experiencing this. You might be going through this, and I'm going to talk about how to cure your inferiority complex because most men who struggle with pornography struggle with low self-esteem, low self-confidence, and they have a severe inferiority complex. Many men today who struggle with porn walk around feeling less than every other man around them. And that is a major cause of concern, uh, a major cause of not just concern, but unhappiness in your life and general lack of success. Now, you may have lived with an inferiority complex for so long that you have no idea that it affects every facet of your life. Your feelings of inferiority do not exist because of let's say, facts or experiences that you've had that that prove to you that you're inferior, they exist simply because of the conclusions that you made regarding the facts and your evaluation of your experiences. I'll give you an example. Um, I don't don't fight. I, I box, but I'm not like an MMA fighter, okay? And I'm not a movie actor or anything like that. But I do consider myself an inferior mixed martial arts fighter and an inferior uh, Hollywood actor. However, being inferior at these two skills does not in any way make me an inferior person. So Conor McGregor and Leonardo DiCaprio's inability to run an ultra marathon, all right, 50 miles plus in one shot, that makes them inferior ultra marathon runners but not inferior persons are you with me so here's the question that that you have to ask yourself in order to begin um, um, changing your, your, your the way you view yourself and getting rid of your inferiority complex and the first is what norms are you measuring your self-worth by and the second one is whose norms are you measuring yourself by now let's say that you quote unquote know that you are inferior at let's say meeting attractive women if you're single and let's say going on a date with them that day or the next day okay but it's not the knowledge of this that creates your inferiority complex but it's your feeling of inferiority so let me share something with you you judge yourself and you measure yourself not against what's normal for you, but against what's normal to some other man. And when you do this, you will always come out below that man. However, because you feel that you should measure up to someone else's normal, you end up feeling unfulfilled, unhappy, and sad, as if there's something wrong or something lacking in you. But that's not the worst part, brother. The worst part is that as a result of this, you begin to feel that you are not worthy of happiness or success and that you are not deserving enough to go out there and express your unique gifts, your unique abilities and talents without apology. So you become kind of like a a low self-esteem wuss. And I experienced this for many years. I also made the mistake of overcompensating uh, for this perceived shortcoming by trying my best to be superior to everyone else. And supposedly, it would make me feel better about myself. And uh, as a result, I embarked on this epic journey of massive self-improvement. And some of you might be doing that right now. But unfortunately, the harder that I tried to be better than everyone else at what I was doing back then, that was I was I was running a uh, sales and recruiting business. And we were competing with a lot of people. But the harder that I tried to be better at people at that um, at, at sales, better than other people at building my business or recruiting, uh, better than every guy around me back then at meeting and dating beautiful women, the more miserable I got. 
See, inferiority complex is a created phenomenon. All you have to do to create inferiority complexes among a group of people, it's very simple. You do one thing. First of all, you set up a measurement of what an average guy is like or what normal is like. And then you just take a group of them and you convince them that they don't measure up to, to that standard. That's it. How do I know this? Because I ran a massive um, a sales organization. And in order to get my salespeople to hit their goals, I had to set um, a limit. I had to, to let people know what average production looks like. And so it was very clear at the end of the week when the salespeople came in or when their numbers came in, who was below average and who was above average. So it's neither right nor wrong. But if it's not handled correctly and if you don't understand this, then you end up becoming a victim of it. See, society also does this to us on a daily basis. Take a look at your Facebook timeline or your Instagram timeline and you're bombarded by these viral, so-called viral posts that tell you, you know, 20 things that you should be doing in your 20s or these are the 10 things that every successful person over 30 has done. Listen, the only step in your recovery, as you are overcoming your inferiority uh, uh, complex, the most important step is to realize that you are not in competition with any other person. Because quite simply, there is no one else like you on this planet. You are not like anyone else. And you can never become like anyone else, despite what your mother, your father, your teacher, your best friend, your girlfriend, or your wife tells you. You are not meant to be like anyone else, and no one else is meant to be like you. All your insecurities in life, all your anxieties as a man come from a lack of understanding and an inability or an unwillingness to discover yourself. Okay? Believe in your uniqueness as a man, your distinctiveness, your individuality, your ability to influence other men and women based on your unique personality. Now, you are not quote-unquote him. You are not quote-unquote them. You will never measure up to that level. So stop trying. Accept the simple truth and your inferiority complex will collapse, leaving space to create, to achieve, to influence and impact the world as your true self which is what we are trying to get to in this process of quitting porn addiction. It's all about finding out who we are because we know that we are not men who are designed to spend our evenings opening up multiple tabs, masturbating, escalating in our behavior, and completely losing control over our ability to regulate ourselves. So we are, we are, we are searching for our true selves and having an inferiority complex is kind of moving in the other direction. So that is my message on that today, and I hope you take something from it. Guys, I am JK, your brother in this struggle, and I wish you the best in your struggle in overcoming your out-of-control sexual behavior. I'll talk to you on the next episode.